Good morning. It's great to be here today. Um, I wanted to get started right away this morning with a little memory exercise, if you will. I want everybody in here to think back and remember what their first grade teacher's name was. Okay? Everybody got that? All right, now we're going to take it one step further. I want everybody to try and remember just one thing that that first grade teacher told you, and not something like Josh, get Hannah Marker's back right now, and no, you cannot bring that Friday from recess, young man. I want some, something meaningful that that teacher told you, something that had an impact. All right, well, I've been very lucky that not only can I remember my first grade teacher's name at the drop of a hat, Jimmy Smith, but I can also remember something very meaningful that she told me. It was a hot early September afternoon, as most in Iowa are, and while my whole class was uh, my whole class was sitting down, backpacks on, we were ready to go. Um, it was the last story of the day, and while I don't remember the name or the premise of the story, I can tell you what I took away from it. At the end, Mrs. Smith looked up and looked around at us, and she told us that living in the United States is such a blessing, and that we must make the most of it. She said, "Anyone can do anything in this country, or be anyone, even become the president, but they have to become involved." Now. I'm not here to announce my candidacy for president in 2032, <laughs> but I am here to talk to you guys about what led me to becoming president of the Iowa Youth Congress and of my student council back home. Short and sweet, my teacher told me to. She told me to get involved, and while I didn't really know it then, that was a message that would stick with me. Every year down the line, I got a little more nudged from teachers who would push me to be involved, and today I'm so thankful that I did, or that they did. I'm also really grateful that I got involved with government, specifically. Um, American government is such an amazing paradox. It's large and complex, but the people are incredibly accessible. Government is impersonal, but yet it affects us all very personally. And government can be slow, ineffective, and yes, even detrimental. But when government gets it right, it means the world to its beneficiaries. I always knew, with the prodding of some certain educators, that I wanted to be a positive change factor, a force for good in the world. Now, my passion for government led me to apply for the Iowa Secretary of State's capital project for high school sophomores and juniors back in 2013. I was accepted and I spent four days in Des Moines with 20 other students, some of the best youth from across the state of Iowa. We learned about state government. We met with legislators, drafted bills, debated, and made friendships. And those friendships later led me to apply for the Iowa Youth Congress for my junior year in high school. They let me in, and I haven't stopped since. And this is my plug for the Iowa Youth Congress. It's a great program. I think everybody should look at it. If you guys are interested, I know our coordinator, Jessica's in the back, and I think she has some materials about that. The, um, and then, so after I was involved in Iowa Youth Congress, this last year, I applied for the United States Senate Youth Program, which is graciously funded by the William Randolph Hearst Foundation. I actually submitted my application for the Iowa Youth, or, um, for USSYP at the Iowa Youth Congress Annual Summit on the floor of the Iowa House of Representatives, just a few steps from where Capital Project actually met when we were in the Capitol, which is really funny how things work out like that in a full circle. I later learned that I'd been accepted and I had won a scholarship, a week-long trip to Washington, D.C., and the immense honor of representing Iowa with 103 other amazing delegates from across the country. This is my plug for USSYP. It's a life-changing experience that I think every high school junior and senior should look into. Um, it brings you into contact with people and ideas from all over the country. Um, check out USSYP's website by Googling it and then check back with the Department of Education in September for an announcement on how to apply at the state level. Um, so USSYP was more or less a national version of Capital Project. It brought two delegates from every state, which Jack was the other delegate from Iowa, um, and we met with ambassadors, secretaries, Supreme Court justices, and presidents alike. Um, I took a few things away. The first of which being that I, they should probably tell people that they're not ever going to want to leave that program. Um, I realized that a love for public service knows no color, sex, or age. And I realized that relationships build the consensus that lets your advocacy grow. One of my best friends from the program was a female Filipino-American short Alaskan who was also very involved in her state government. And she fundamentally disagreed with the tanning ban bill that I had worked on in IYC. And while we were polar policy opposites on that and in appearance too, we're still <laughs> friends. And I can't wait to mail Christian a copy of that bill once it becomes law. <laughs> so obviously the issues that I worked on with IYC like tanning and cyberbullying are very critical to the youth of Iowa. 
And while I'd really like to stand here and tell you that all these issues arose to prominence at the impetus of the Iowa Youth Congress and our fierce advocacy, I can't do that in true honesty. The reality is these issues were being debated long before I ever got involved, and they will be debated long after I cease to be involved. No person is safe, perhaps a few very famous policy champions, are so tied to their pieces of legislation that it may die with them. And because of this, I'm very enthusiastic and very passionate about getting youth involved in the legislative process. Now, when I was telling my classmates about my bills, and I use that term very loosely about the bills I work on with IYC, especially the tanning one, I got a lot of pushback and I got a lot of criticism. <laughs> These are issues for teens, and therefore they are very divisive by definition. While I didn't always agree with the policy positions or the logic for why someone might be against one of my bills, I always wanted them to take their disagreement and their passion and turn it into advocacy. Um, there's a quote, and I think that it's been around for a long time, but for the sake of proper citation, we'll just attribute it to the senator from Massachusetts, Elizabeth Warren, who said, if you're not at the table, you're probably on the menu. The opinions that, other bring, that others bring to the table are inherently valid, and we must always strive not only to get more people to the table, but to make room for them as well. I can stand here today as the president of the Iowa Youth Congress and say that I speak for the youth of Iowa, but the reality is if we had a different set of members, or even just more members, I might not be. But that's okay, because the opinions that others bring to the table are inherently valid. Now, while I've told you today a lot of things that I'm not here to talk to you about, politics being the first among them, I am here to tell you that my life has been forever changed because I decided to be involved. Every person in here is heavily involved in some organization or another, and I can guarantee that every one of those organizations would do better if, not, if they had more members or at least more people trying to become members. And so, my challenge today is very simple. Get a friend involved. Take a friend to your next public event, a rally, a lobby day, or even just a meeting. This is a multiplier effect. Think about how different, how much better our government would be if 100% of the population was active, invested, and involved in the decision-making process. Lower participation might make things easier and make them faster to get done, but that's not the America that I want to live in. Get someone else involved. One day, they might stand in front of a highly esteemed audience and perhaps when they do, they'll reminisce back on the person that got them involved, much the same way that I reminisce about Mrs. Smith. That person is you, and that day is today. I thank you all so much for being here today and for allowing me to speak to you.